Oh my god! <gasps> I am attacked. I need something to hold on to. <laughs> Here we go again. I can't do this anymore. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm just, I'm leaving this K-pop life. Hey everyone. So, today, Temin has a new album, Guilty. Um, I doubt any of you have seen it, but my first ever reaction on this channel it's actually an, a reaction to um, Tamin's advice. It's not the first reaction that anyone watched by a long shot. I think like 18 people watched it back in the day, but it was my first ever reaction. And, you know, as a shawl, as someone who just saw Tamin in Paris, which was everything, by the way, um, I have been extremely excited for this. Tamin is, you know, Tamin's, he, he needs no introduction. He's Tamin. Um, so I'm really, really excited for Guilty. Also a little bit scared, especially of the Rizness. I'm very scared of the Rizness. I will explain why later. But yeah, let's... Oh gosh, I'm so scared of this MV. I'm terrified that I won't like it. I'm terrified of what this is. Like, the, the way he described it, like, I'm, I'm scared. I, I, I know I'm not gonna get the concept fully. Like, I'm not gonna fully understand what's going on, because that's me. But we'll see. Let's go with Tim and Skilty. Let's go. Oh, I didn't play. There we go. Okay, okay. I, I, by the way, I stayed away from teasers. I don't fully... I don't know anything. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh my gosh, wait, 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 wait. I, I already have thoughts. <laughs> Give me a second, Tim. First of all, I love the strings in the background. It sounds so grand. I know it's meant to be about loss of innocence. Oh, I love this moment here. The harmonies. Oh, okay, it sounds... Oh gosh, I don't know what to focus on. There's so much going on. There's the lyrics. There's... Okay. <laughs> I'm usually... Okay, how about I'm going to watch it and then I'm going to watch it again. I'm going to watch it and then I'll watch it again for anything I missed. Because I already can tell you this sounds amazing. I love the way it sounds. Oh my gosh, I love that empty look. Like, I mean, I wouldn't like it if I felt like he wasn't acting, but beautiful. I kind of like how oversized his pants are because they make him look younger. You know, fitting the concept. Damn, Tem is Tem in the artist you are. Jesus. Wow, this. Wow. Damn, Tem in. I think I keep thinking he can't keep topping himself. This is amazing. This is art. This is art. The, are you? Sh oh my God, Temin! And it sounds so good and eerie. I love it. It's 
It's very Christian guild though here. My judgment in the final moment. I also love seeing like his half a race tattoo. I feel like it kind of fits the loss of innocence co concept really well. I like how it's like he's like like it's a sexy moment, but it's also like he himself like is controlling him. God, this. Oh my god! <gasps> what is he wearing? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh my god, Timmy! Timmy! What are you doing with your voice? I'm fine. I mean, I guess I do want you in this moment. This is. Uh... Ah! I'm fine. God, this is amazing. I love this. I don't- I feel like I've run out of emotions. Like, this is so good. The song sounds so am Like, I just feel like I'm saying- I, I feel like I'll have more thoughts the second time I'm watching this. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I just need to experience it right now. Timmy, Timmy, these outfits. Oh, my God. Strong enough for this. I'm also not smart enough for this. I don't quite grasp. Like I know it's about you know loss of innocence. Him, maybe maybe the industry a little bit. I don't know. It, it, there's a lot going on. I just want to say I have those vocals. Like, obviously, Temin has grown incredibly as a vocalist, and he keeps getting better and better, but he's... This is amazing, vocally. The choreo... Like, I know he's Temin, but the choreo! Are you kidding me? It's sexy. It feels wrong that it's sexy. It's really amazingly executed. It's Of course it is. I mean, of course it is. Of course it is. It's Temin, but still, this is amazing. I need everyone to know that this is amazing. I need to watch it a second time. 
it it simultaneously feels grand and small. God, it sounds. It's definitely being pushed and pulled in different directions. God, this moment. Vocally. So, is that him as a child? I think so. It's a, to it's a toxic relationship. But who's the toxic relationship between is what I'm trying to figure out. It could be between him and fame. It could be between him and, you know, um, it could be between like almost him and his fans. Like, you know, I make you addicted to me and then I take everything. But I think it's probably more, it feels with the loss of innocence concept, it feels like it might be about him becoming an idol. Like I'll give you, I'll give you what you want once, and then I'll take everything from you in order for you to achieve your dream. I don't know. Maybe I'm breaching. I'm not sure. Also, with the hands pulling at him, the way it looks like he's being pushed and pulled in this part as well, like. Like this part to me looks like like he's doing it to himself, but also it feels like he's being controlled. To to do these like to to like be like this sexy person, it almost feels like he doesn't have a choice. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm making it up. It almost feels like he doesn't have a choice in it. I think it's him doing it himself, but it also feels like somebody else is doing it too. Yeah, especially the, I can walk like this, talk like this, play like this. I don't know. Maybe I'm making up. <sighs> God, I love this part. Maybe it's about the true Temin being trapped inside the idol Temin. Like, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, you want me even in this moment, this perfect, this perfect, like, you know, even either fame or this perfect, like, um, packaged, sellable version of himself. That, that is my favorite part, though. Yeah, and it seems like he's like almost killing the child him. God, I love this part. God, it's so beautiful! <laughs> I also like how in some of these shots his hair is brown and in some of them it's black. I wonder I wonder if that was on purpose or if they just ended up like that. It makes it seem like he's two different people in those shots. Who 
you say clinging on to is my real question? God, it's such a banger. I love you, Timon. I do. The artist you are. And also, I just want to say this styling, that styling. I would, I, yes. The answer is yes. So, mm, gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love guilty. And there's a car crash again. At least an eluded one. That's a very tempting thing. I hope. I hope. I. Th I hope no hard. At least no cars were actually like visually harmed in the making of this, of this <laughs> particular movie. But. <laughs> It's not it's not new for Temin to do something like that. Okay, I love Guilty. I love Guilty. I think I like Guilty even more than Advice. Of I'm gonna oh God or, I know all his title tracks, but I don't think I can just right now off the top of the dome um pull a ranking of all like all his all his tracks because uh, all his title tracks. So I'm just going to work with the last three and this. So we've got um, Criminal, Idea, Advice and Guilty. Out of those, my least favorite is Idea. Then it's Advice, then it's Criminal. This, I'm, I, I like this as much as Criminal, maybe even more than Criminal. That's how much I I love Guilty. I love it. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Let me know how you think it compares to his more recent title tracks. Now we're going into the rest of the album. Starting with The Rizness. I have to pull up a track list to see if Temin actually worked on any of these songs. Because I did not check. Oh god. Sorry. He sent he sent like a section of of what I thought were lyrics on Bubble a while ago. And I thought they were lyrics for the Rizness. It doesn't look like they're actually lyrics for the Rizness, but that's when I first saw the word the Rizness and I was like, oh no. Um <laughs> We'll see. Maybe the Rizness ends up being an absolute banger. I also don't know any of the people who were involved in this particular song. I'm scared. I'm scared. Because, like, if it's really good, then I have to live in a world where I like a song called The Rizness. And if it's really bad, then I have to live in a world where Tamin has a horrible song and it's called The Rizness. If it's just mediocre, that's also, like, it doesn't then live up to its title. So, kind of, I kind of don't know what I want from this. Let's go. You know I got the Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just I can't believe this is a song. These are lyrics that E Tamin from Shiny is singing. These are like some NCT as lyrics. I can't believe this. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. We took a many little bow of the boy. Yeah, woman, the sister, you mudo, I watch it away. The Aram the girls, you jump on the sorrow, you have to mush you at the zoom. Is this a rap song? Is Timmy rapping now? What is happening? Cousin, the pain. Pain, pain, what you gonna gain, gain, gain? Can't do your push down, make your ship get to move it off them. Okay, yeah, but you don't jump, turn off the pen. She's a gym and you don't make her. So, sir, give me a poor job for the not job, but I thought, uh, same, same, same. That changing gain, gain, gain. Yeah, I did okay, I'm gonna swim in the mud. 
I like this. I like this part. This song confuses me. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think I love it. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I don't really love, this is, this is a me thing. I don't really love Temin's voice for rapping. That's just a personal preference. I think it can work at times in shiny songs, but a full song of Temin mostly rapping is not it for me personally. I'm sorry if if y'all are offended by that. My favorite part of this thus far, ironically, is the chorus where he keeps saying that he's got the business. That is thus far my favorite part. I'm 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 down to be convinced otherwise, either upon re-listens or by the end of the song, but that's how I feel right now. I like the beat. <laughs> Oh, I like this part. Well, I liked it. I do like the harmonies. Okay. Ugh, I don't really like this. I really like this beat up to the chorus too. I think the only bits I really am not about are the verses. I like this like pre-chorus. I like the chorus. It's just the it's just the it's just the verses that are not for me. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't, this one isn't it for me, y'all. This one is not it for me, but that's okay. That's okay. Every Temin album tends to have one song I'm really not about. Wait, did, did Advice have one song I really wasn't about? Honestly, I mostly just ended up listening to Advice and Strings obsessively. I did also really like If I Could Tell You, but there was a fourth song on that album. A fourth, was it four or five songs? Why don't I remember right now? But there was, oh, Sad Kids. There was Sad Kids and one more song, the song. And those two I never, I never really ended up listening to a ton. I think, I think there were five songs on advice. Let me check that right quick. Now I'm, now I'm questioning everything. What was the other song? Light? Light? What? No. No, that's on a different album, wasn't it? No, it was light. Didn't like light. Didn't like light. So there's usually one on every Tamman album that isn't for me. <clears throat> so, you know, 
maybe that's just the one. Um, so f next up we've got She Loves Me, She Loves Me a Lot. Let's go. Oh wait, wait, ten minutes, one second. I gotta check the credits because I want to know if you worked on this at all. He usually works at on like at least one song, but then the thing is, SM also loves to not put artists on the credits even when they did work on them. Nobody I recognize them again on this track. Okay, let's go with "She Loves Me, She Loves Me Not." Oh, this sounds pretty. Ugh. Ugh, I love his tone. Ugh. The, 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 ah, the, this is okay. I guess he sent see, he sent a line from each song in that thing. I thought it was all the lyrics for one song, but it wasn't. Ah. Oh. Beautiful. I love the guitar. I love the guitar in this song. I love his tone. He sounds dejected in a beautiful way. It's it's really pretty. Oh. And yeah, it, he sings about like how he's like half asleep. Uh, like I wake up, like I'm falling apart. Like he sings about waking up. It sounds like a lullaby in a way. It's really pretty. Oh, Timmy. Pretty. Mm. I love his cadence. I love the projection here with the like almost chorus sound. It's beautiful. Oh, I love how it feels so un unresolved at the end, which kind of makes sense with the lyrics. It's like, I don't fucking know if she loves me or not. <laughs> I also have been appreciating none of these songs have been shorter than three minutes. Thank you, Timon. In the year of our 2023, we barely ever get that. And I appreciate you for giving me full songs. <laughs> 
that's a weird thing that I have. Well, not weird, but that's a thing that I have. I don't love super short songs. I like that Temin made all of them at least three minutes. They all have a bridge. It's as it should be, in my opinion. I like She Loves Me Not and uh, She Loves Me, She Loves Me Not a lot, a lot. Not more than Guilty. But for now, a surprise. That's such a long song title. A surprise is absolutely no one. My current ranking is Guilty, then She Loves Me, She Loves Me Not, then The Risenness. Um, I'm excited for the other songs. I, I was a bit trepidatious for a second there after The Risenness because I was like, oh my god, what if I don't like these B-sides? But he pulled it back with the next one. I probably will like the B-sides. We're good. We Gucci. Um, I will... Um, Check out the rest of the songs in the next video, which will come out tomorrow. So I hope you're excited to check those out with me. Also, I want to give a shout out to, to Shadow by Yoongi, who is like one of the fastest subtitlers and tends to subtitle like, and uh, not subtitle, I mean, cap whatever, you know, lyric video makers. And they tend to do a lot very early on for Shiny specifically. And like, I just, I just really, really appreciate them for that because I need them. But yeah, um, that's it for me for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you want to see more, more shiny on my channel, first of all, I have a whole shiny playlist that you can check out that is at the end of the video. I didn't discover shiny on the channel, but I, you know, as things came out, did more. Um, and if you want to see me do some shiny variety stuff, I have some of that on Patreon, a bunch of episodes of Amazing Saturday. Um, what else? I, 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 I'm blanking. Um, Master Key is something I'm currently doing. I plan to do Temin's episode of Suchita. Probably next week is when that will be coming out. Um, I also did their episode of Amazing Saturday specifically. So if you care about that, there is some shiny over there. If not, that's cool too. Um, if you want to see me do more shiny variety content, let me know what. And I'll, I, I would love to do more shiny. So if you want to see it, just let me know. But yeah, that's it for me for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.